Part six of the multimeter training unit deals with resistors, capacitors, and diodes. The first part we're going to talk about is resistors or doing resistance checks. This can do wonders for not only training your technicians, but it can also do wonders on ability to go back and test them. Do they really and truly know what that multimeter is training whenever they're doing a resistance check? The first thing you got to do is make sure your multimeter is on the right function or the right dial setting. So we are on the, you see the little horseshoe so we know we're on ohms. Then we've got to make sure that we do have the ohm signal here. If it's not, you can use your mode button and scroll through the different functions, but you got to make sure you are in ohms. On the multimeter training unit, there is actually lots of different places we can do resistance checks. For the demonstration today, we're going to do the most obvious one. We're going to use our black lead and go to the common, or use our red lead and go to N. It's very important for a technician to make sure he understands when he sees that big M that it's not a straight reading, it's not four ohms, that it's four million ohms. If he checks it and he misunderstands what the scale is, he can very easily condemn a perfectly good part simply because he does not understand it. Thank <laughs> you.